Hi guys, Lemmy here and welcome back to another art video. Today I'm doing a product review video. And this product is brought to you by the Artisan Shop. So that's D apostrophe artisan and then shop, but it's the one with the PPE, not just P. <laughs> um, this is called the Maestro Series XV, which is Roman numerals for 15, I believe, paint brushes. And I believe it's 15 because there are, this is a set of 15 paint brushes that we're looking at right now. And um, before I get started about my, my review and my personal experiences about the product, what I like to do is read how that product is described on their labeling. Because I think that's really important to have transparency and figure out, because when, when you go to a store and you want to buy something, you want to read what is the item about on the box and you want it to be accurate. So I'm just going to read a little bit of how they describe this product. Now before I get into that just yet, you'll be seeing me take apart and unbox the product as I got it in the mail. So it came in a plastic wrap and the brushes are actually in a really nice traveling case. So I open it up and it's a, like a magnet sort of snap enclosure and there are the 15 brushes. Most of them had been wrapped individually in plastic and placed into these little holsters. And then there is a kind of like a fold of heavier plastic that goes on top of the tips to protect those brushes when they travel. So I was really happy with how they were packed because there was a lot of love and care in the presentation of this item. Also, there is glue on the tips of these brushes to protect the brushes during transit. So I was happy with how they, they pack the item and that the brushes did arrive in very good condition. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to describe how the company themselves describe the brushes. Okay, so it says the Maestro series 15 quality paint brushes from the artisan shop have been designed to suit most painters from beginners right through to seasoned artists. Each brush is meticulously handcrafted by brush artisans using the finest quality materials. So now there's a, full, a few bullet points here. It says they're easy to clean, suitable for watercolor, acrylic, oil, gouache, and tempera painting. There is a wide assortment of brush shapes, like flat, filbert, round, liner, fan, angled, and wide flat. They're premium quality, so that's anti-shedding, seamless ferrules, good spring, superior feel and balance, and varnished handles. Storage case is great for travel while protecting brushes. So that's how it's described on the outer packaging. And once you open it up, you get another little card inside of the actual travel case. And this says, attention, please read. Your product is backed by a lifetime warranty, but you need to register your order on our website first. It only takes five minutes to secure your warranty. You will also receive choosing the right brush plus brush care and tips. So visit to artisanshop.com slash register to secure your warranty and get your free gift. Not totally satisfied. If you're not 100% satisfied for any reason, please contact us before leaving us a negative review at support at dartisanshop.com. We will do our utmost to resolve the issue so that you are 100% satisfied with your purchase. Your satisfaction is important to us. So right there, I have to say I was very impressed because your brushes have a lifetime warranty. So if for any reason something goes wrong with your order or in the future, if something happens to your brushes, if you have registered on their website, they will cover those damages. So I am very happy with that. I think that is a really nice business move and it shows that the company is very they stand behind their their product. So I'm, I'm very happy with that now on the opposite end of the card It says general cleaning before first use brushes are shipped with water-soluble glue on the hairs to maintain and protect the tip It is imperative that the glue is removed entirely before you begin using your brushes 
The best way to do this is to first rinse out as much adhesive as you can. You can do this by gently brushing the tips in the palm of your hand using cool water. Once the glue is completely removed, you may want to gently reshape the brushes by shaking out the excess water rather than rubbing or squeezing it out. Shaping the brush gently against the size of your finger so that it comes to a balanced point if necessary. Do not leave the brushes by standing on its tip. This might damage the tip before you even start using the brush. Lay flat or in a rack to dry. Get more tips on brush care and techniques at, and then it says once again, dartisanshop.com slash register. So I really like how specific those instructions were and I did follow them and I did clean the brushes. Um, I, I do love how specific they are. They really know their brushes well and they're trying to teach younger artists the best ways of caring for their products. So I can really appreciate that. And it's not even a flimsy piece of paper, like it's pretty stiff and it's like a quality printout. So the thought that goes into the packaging I thought was really great. Oh, my dog's up. So out of curiosity, I went and I visited their website and their website has a lot of information on their product and it has a lot of extra information. So I found out that all these brushes are synthetic except for the white haired tip or brush tips. Those are actually hog bristles. So they're all synthetic except for those that are the white coloring on the brush. Um, also, I found out that the ferrule, I don't know if I say that word right, but that's how I say it, which is actually the metal part on the brush that holds the handle and the bristles and like together, that part is actually nickel free metal. So if you have a nickel allergy, that won't affect you and you won't actually have a reaction to that ferrule. So I hear that a lot of those ferrules are actually made with nickel so that's like a really nice thing that they took into consideration when producing this paintbrush now when i get to actually reviewing the product what i'm looking for is based on what is on the packaging so i'm looking to see if it's easy to clean which they were i want to see if they're suitable suitable for watercolor because that's what i do and they were the brush types that i picked out were suitable for watercolor I use the, the rounds and the liner. I've never actually used a liner before, so I'm gonna get into that. Um, there is a wide assortment of brush shapes, but I, I really love the round brushes, so that's what I mostly stick to. If I was to say use like acrylic paint or something, I would use different shapes for different things. So I always like having that option available for me. Also, when water watercoloring, you can use different brushes for different textures and effects. So that's really nice to have on hand. Now, uh, it does say it has a storage case, which is true, and it is great for travel and protecting your brushes. So the only kind of point, bullet point that we're really looking at for review is premium quality. So the first one says anti-shedding. So when I was painting, I made sure to look for shedding of bristles as I was painting and not one bristle came out. So I was really happy about that. The last thing you wanna do is put a lot of effort and time into your painting and not realize that a bunch of bristles fell out and you see them later engraved in your painting in the paint. That would be really frustrating and a lot of crummier quality brushes shed their bristles. Also, it says that they have seamless ferrules, which there wasn't any any sharp points to them and the handles flowed right into them very well. So I would guess they are seamless and allergy free. So that's cool. <laughs> um, good spring to the brushes. Yes, I did experience that. Uh, one thing that when I was younger is that I used a lot of cremier brushes in high school and when you would dip it in the water and then you would like put some stuff down on the on the paper you would lift the brush back up and it would be all saggy and depressed looking and that was always so frustrating to work with it's kind of like having two pencils and one pencil you're sharpening it with a razor blade and the other pencil you're sharpening it with a, a pencil sharpener 
you know, the pencil that has been sharpened by the pencil sharpener, you'll be able to control much better and get a lot more details down and exactly what you want down rather than the thick, crudely cut pencil. So when looking for a quality brush, even for a beginner, is very important because the brush will really affect the outcome and how, how well your painting comes out. So there is good spring. The brush does snap back to its original shape. So that's, that's also very important. Um, it says superior feel and balance. The, balance. the brush was balanced in my hand. I personally prefer short handle brushes just because I have such a tiny hand and also I have the camera attached to my table. So if I have a long handled brush, it gets in the way of the camera. But if I didn't have the camera, that would not be an issue at all. Uh, I really did like the feel and the balance of the brushes. It says that the handles are varnished, which they are, and they also feel very nice. So we covered all of the claims on the, the brushes. So time for my review of what I thought about these. Now, keep in mind, I've never used a liner brush before, and I wanted to go into this doing something I've never done before to see if I could, and I lined the entire drawing with the liner brush, and I didn't use any fine liners or any pencils, and I absolutely loved the liner brush, and I loved the round brushes that I used for the watercoloring. I had a great time with these brushes. I really enjoyed them. I dare to say that there is nothing bad that I could find about these brushes. I really like them. And I really appreciate the company because they're offering a lifetime warranty on their product and they're trying to educate artists on how to take care of their supplies. And if for any reason you're not happy, they're willing to work with you. And I mean, the items themselves are great. I had a great time with them. Uh, these are the best brushes that I own. I have a whole bunch of different kinds of brushes I've purchased from Michaels. Like they have those stands in Michaels and I've purchased a bunch of different brushes. They were all rounds from that wall from different companies to try them all out. But these are my favorite brushes by far. And the reasoning for that is because the round brush held a ton of water. It also held a ton of pigment. So much that I was surprised a lot. I would put down some paint and then realize like, wow, this is way too much paint and this is way too much water because my other brushes didn't hold as much pigment or water in them. So I'm super impressed. These would be great, especially if you wanted to maybe do a larger painting because this painting is very, very, very small. But even working on a small painting, I still had a lot of control because there are different brush sizes available. But I absolutely adore them. I have nothing bad about the brushes to even say, except uh, when you get them, you have to wash the glue off them. But the glue is kind of like for its own protection. So like you can't even say that that's a bad thing. So. I mean, taking 15 minutes to wash my brushes and, you know, that's over and you don't have to do it again. So I just absolutely love these brushes. And when I talked to the company, they were extremely kind and extremely generous. And they know that I have a YouTube channel. So they said, unless I am 100% satisfied and happy with the product, um, then I don't even have to do a review. So A, I'm not paid to do this, and B, I am 100% happy with the product. And they generously said that they will give my viewers a discount on this set of brushes. So I'm very happy about that. I love saving you guys money because I know that money doesn't grow on trees. Well, I guess kind of it might if you chop down a tree and then make it into money, but. Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> but money doesn't grow on trees. And it's really difficult, especially when you're starting out, to really build up a collection of art supplies. 
and when you buy something you don't want it to break and you want to have it and reuse it and not have to worry about it. So I'm very happy that I could get you a very large discount on these set of brushes. And the original price of the brushes were like 69 and then like something, like 98 or something. So that's almost $70, but with the discount that I got for you guys, it would be $39.98, I believe. So that's like $30 off the price of this product. And buying good brushes individually is very expensive. There are some brushes that are like $30 for one brush, you know? And like some sets are like five brushes for like a hundred dollars so there are varying prices for brushes but i really like these and you get a lot of quality brushes for a reasonable price and they have a lifetime warranty which is the thing that i am super sold about if for any reason a comet falls out of the sky and falls on your brush set they'll work with you so i mean like <laughs> there's only like so much you can say before you're just like, this is super reasonable, I'm gonna do it. Anyway, I've been talking about this for like forever. So I'm just gonna quickly go over what I painted. It is a semi-realistic picture of my character, Lemia, and she is holding a croissant because I have this joke that my last name, Crescent, is like croissant. So like sometimes I'm like, lemon croissant. So I just thought it would be a cute little picture to do. And yeah, so like I said, I really think the brushes are awesome. And whether you're a beginner or a professional, brushes are very important either way. So you should really look into investing in your brushes and not getting something cheap. So anyway, I'm gonna get going. I hope that you guys found this review to be helpful and I hope that you learned a lot from it and I'll talk to you guys really soon for another art video and uh, yeah take care bye guys